Hi everyone, Mark Chess here and welcome to the channel and today I'll be comparing the Kini 13s with the Kyrie 6. So let us find out which one is for you. A gentle reminder guys, I have an ongoing raffle right now. When we reach 20k subscribers, I will be choosing a winner from a video here that has 2,000 likes and you get a chance to win a brand new sneaker in your size. Before we start with the comparison video of these two sneakers, I have the full performance review of each of this. I'll be putting the link in the description down below and a little background between the KD13s and the Kyrie 6. If you have been watching this channel, you know how I love the Kyrie 6. I love how it performs on court. Then the KD13s came and I'm completely torn. I will say that these two are in my top five currently as of the first half of 2020. So that's how good these are. No matter how great the play style on both sneakers are, there are differences. Let's start off first with the uppers of these two sneakers. Of course, the KD13 has strip stop mesh all over the upper while the Kyrie 6 has this ballistic mesh upper which is more fused compared to the ripstop material in the KD13s. The first thing that I notice in the material is how soft the ripstop mesh in the KD13s are compared to the ballistic mesh found in the Kyrie 6. So you need more break-in time with the upper of the Kyrie 6. But in terms of support, it really depends on your preference. Both have very supportive upper, especially around the forefoot area. But if you want the material to feel really rigid and you want that feeling of security, I will go with the upper of the Kyrie 6 because it is more rigid compared to the ripstop material of the KD13 so you feel more supportive in the upper. Not saying the KD13's upper is not supportive. It is also very supportive but not as rigid and supportive be feeling on the Kyrie 6. On the toolbox area of the upper of both sneakers, you can see this TPU plate found in the Kyrie 6 which also acts as additional traction around the forefoot and at the same time protecting the upper of the Kyrie 6. So if you're someone who is as shifty as Kyrie Irving that you need your upper to be an extension of your traction you need to get the Kyrie 6 because the TPU plate don't just act as a protection for the upper but also as a traction that's why it is very rough so if you are really bending your foot and you need extra traction in the middle part of the upper you will be getting that in the Kyrie 6 even though the KD13s doesn't have this TPU plate in the middle part of the upper it still have this extra layer of fabric and fuse area that gives you durability and support laterally and medially around the forefoot area. Now moving on to the midfoot part of the upper, this is another major difference between the Kyrie 6 and the KD13s. As you can see on the Kyrie 6, it has a huge strap in the middle and it is not just for aesthetic purpose but it also really helps in the lockdown of the foot in the footbed. I can really feel my foot being pulled down when I'm really tightening this strap. So it's not just for show, but it will take you a longer time tying your laces on the Kyrie 6 compared to the KD13s where you need to open the strap and it goes back instantly. So a trick that I've been doing is I'm clipping the strap here inwards. Then you go ahead and strap this thing. Be careful not to let your laces stick in the Velcro of the strap because it can ruin the laces. Just be aware of that. And as for the midfoot part of the KD13s, although it doesn't have a strap, you feel very supportive around the midfoot part because the swoosh also helps out in the lockdown and support around the midfoot and at the same time the wings on the both sides of the sneakers from the heel going to the midfoot part also gives you extra lockdown and ankle support. Moving on to the heel part of the sneaker as you can see they're both mid-cut sneaker the Kyrie's is a little bit higher compared to the KD13's I was quite surprised with that I thought the KD13's will be higher but comparing it right now the Kyrie's have bigger flaps around the ankle area and I would say both cushion around the heel and ankle are very comfortable you hardly notice them. They have very nice heel cushion. Heel containment is awesome. You're very well caged around the heel. Overall, both sneakers have very good lockdown. So no heel slippage, very good ankle protection and ankle containment. One thing I love better on the Kyrie 6 is the tongue KD13s, which looks like a deconstructed foam material. I'm just scared with the tongue of the KD13s that it might rip because it's not fused around the edges of the tongue. But if you have the KD13s, just be careful when you're pulling the tongue and the ease of wear of both sneakers I would say pretty much equal but I feel that the upper of the Kyrie 6 is much more narrow it's made out of ballistic fuse mesh so it really doesn't stretch it is not as soft as the ripstop material 
on the KD13s. So it's a little bit harder to wear. Once you get the hang of wearing them, it won't be a problem at all. And another one is the ventilation. The ventilation on the KD13 is much better compared to the Kyrie 6 because of the fuse upper of the Kyrie 6. Now let's move on to the midfoot and cushion of both sneakers. The major difference that I'm seeing right now is on the Kyrie 6, you can really see the cushion goes up on the lateral part and middle part of the sneaker from the forefoot to the heel really wrapping around or creating your foot down to the footbed you really feel secured and locked down and when you are doing lateral moves you can really feel your foot touching the cushion on the side and preventing your foot from slipping off the footbed while on the KD13s it does go up but it's not as high as the ones in the Kyrie 6 so if you are really shifty guard and you need that extra support around the lateral part especially where the cushion really hugs your foot when you're moving laterally prevents your foot from slipping out of the footbed I would highly recommend the Kyrie 6 because it's really made for very shifty guards and the play styles are really low to the ground the Kyrie 6 is definitely for you and as for the cushion setup on both sneakers the Kyrie 6 features zoom turbo around the forefoot area which is very very bouncy and at the heel is a very soft injected phylon while on the KD13s is a full length zoom with no strobo board and as for bounciness both sneakers are very bouncy around the forefoot area while on the heel impact protection is very nice on both sneakers but the major difference is the impact protection on the KD13 is way better because it has thicker injected phylon and at the same time the zoom also helps out in the impact protection around the heel of the KD13 giving you extra bounciness in the heel if you need them and as for the Kyrie 6 very bouncy in the forefoot very nice impact protection in the heel and it is really closer to the ground compared to the KD13 I wear them together in each foot so I really felt the difference I really feel higher in the KD13s compared to the Kyrie 6. Don't get me wrong, it is not that high on the KD13s, but when you wear them at the same time, you can really feel the difference in cord feel. And as for the responsiveness of the cushion, I would say both have very responsive cushion setup. Now let's move on to the traction on both sneakers. The KD13s have circular pattern traction, while the Kyrie 6 have this eye, the Illuminati eye and some lines around the eye. For the grippiness of the traction, both are very grippy on the floor. Even in the dusty court, both grips very well. Both traction squeaks really loud, but on my Kyrie 6 translucent outsole, it squeaks louder compared to solid rubber traction in my KD13s. For dust pickup, I would say the KD13s can handle dust better compared to the Kyrie's because the Kyrie's has closer gaps in the traction pattern compared to the KD13s, which has wider gaps on the traction pattern. For the rubber durability, both rubber compounds are very hard so I think outdoor use are pretty okay with both sneakers. These two sneakers are XDR rubber because I'm in Asia we have extra durable rubbers on the Kyrie 6 and the KD13s. But for outdoor use I would recommend the KD13s better because it has thicker phylon cushion and at the same time full length zoom so impact protection is better on the KD13s. But if you're a younger hooper who won't mind that and your knees are very healthy I think you're still okay with the Kyrie 6. As for the weight, the KD13s weigh 430 grams while the Kyrie's weigh 455 because I think of this huge plastic on the heel which gives a little more weight on the Kyrie 6. But when you're playing with them, the Kyrie's don't really feel heavy at all because of how nice the fit is on the Kyrie's at the same time on the KD13s. And as for the price of both sneakers, the KD13 is more expensive by 1,000 pesos more or less compared to the Kyrie's. And a lot of Kyrie's now are on sale because it's an older model compared to the KD13s. I can see some Kyrie 6 right now that are on 20 to 30% off. So that will give you around 2,000 to 3,000 difference on the price. So that's a pretty huge difference. But if you want full and zoom strobel, thicker cushion on your sneakers, go ahead and buy the KD13s because it is really a solid performer especially if you have knee issues the KD13s will be better for you but if you don't have that the Kyrie 6 is a very solid performer the bounciness in the forefoot is very nice very good impact protection the heel very good ankle protection very good traction pattern and also it looks very nice also the KD13s looks very good aesthetically I think these are the two of the most very good looking sneakers out right now from Nike that's just my opinion so as for sizing regular footers go through to your size on both sneakers wide footers go half a size up both sneakers are on the narrow side so watch out for that so if you can fit it in store do that first before buying the sneaker so which sneaker would you choose the KD13s or the Kyrie 6 hit me a comment down below on your thoughts on these two sneakers 
Don't forget to comment your size, your name, and also don't forget to subscribe here in the channel and also in my Instagram account to be eligible in the rack. So good luck to you guys. Share this channel to your friends so we can reach 20,000 subscribers faster. So this has been Marches. I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.